There's something very grounding about food, the comfort of it, the sense of togetherness over lunch or an evening meal. That shared experience, the sights and smells and the bonds we make while we're eating are so important and so human. We've been supporting people for almost 30 years, working in partnership with people we support, understanding their lives and their needs, advocates on their shoulder, while understanding that some things are just harder if you have a learning disability. We help people identify the barriers in their life and then tear them down together. People like Ashley, who goes to our cookery club on Tuesdays. I feel happy in New York. How do you feel when you're doing the cooking sessions there? I feel good. Certitude supports people with learning disabilities all over London. I work in our West London hub and oversee our cookery sessions, one of which is Food for Thought. Our projects to help people explore their mental health in an environment they're comfortable in. We all have mental health needs. This is true for people with learning disabilities as it is for everyone else. And we know from experience that one-to-one -one talking therapies don't work as well as in the wider population. We were looking for a way to put people at ease, feel supported and once they're comfortable to open up about their mental health. We ran a pilot of Food for Thought at one of our resource centres in Ealing with a group of people we knew needed some mental health support. Hosted on Friday nights, the course ran for 10 weeks and saw six people coming together with a counsellor and support worker to make a meal from scratch. Washing, peeling, chopping and stirring, all while the counsellor facilitates conversations relating to people's mental health, offering practical support where needed. What was interesting was that we saw an increase in peer support. Rather than looking to the professional in the room, people were supporting each other. As the course progressed, these bonds deepened and reliance on staff reduced. People started to build their social networks, the safety nets we rely on to catch us when we need it. There's also been some unexpected but amazing outcomes. The mother of one man we support said that because of the cookery skills her son was learning, she can now start to think about planning for his life when she's not around, something she'd been putting off for years. Ashley goes to our regular cookery club. I'm cooking Christmas dinner. I make Miss Pies. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to roll out our cookery sessions across London, helping more people open up about their mental health and build up their support networks. It's about food and it's about being together. Both of those ideas are so central to this time of year and that's why our focus for Christmas 2018 is food for thought. We'd like to roll it out across London and we need your help. Please like and share this video and if you can spare anything, no matter how small, a donation to support Food for Thought would be wonderful. There's a link below. All that's left to say is, from everyone at Certitude, have a wonderful Christmas and enjoy those chats around the table, whoever you're with this year.